Hey guys, I've discovered something completely new that nobody else has talked about on YouTube just yet. If you're looking for a way to make your blogs visually appealing and rank even better on Google, you've come to the right place. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but I didn't really want to give away the secret sauce. Oh, listen to me carefully, okay? Do not tell anyone the recipe to your sauce. If you haven't used Harbor yet, guys, I do highly recommend giving it a try. You can try it for $1 right now. But one thing that we're doing that no other AI generator is doing is interactive charts and graphs, and also custom tables and infographics. Now, obviously, a lot of people are probably wondering how we're actually doing this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we're doing this how you can do this yourselves, or if you don't want to do it yourselves, you can just use Harbor. So what we worked out was instead of using Markdown, we've decided to start to use HTML. So I'm just going to say write an article about Kiton suits using HTML, for example. And what this is going to do is it's just going to do a very basic article. Obviously, there's not going to be any internal links or anything like that but I just want to get a basic article so I can show you how to do the next stage of this. Now, this is obviously creating a full on HTML document. That's okay. Um, this is just an example. So, so here is our beautiful uh, article. Okay. Now let's say that we want to add a, let's say a, an infographic. Okay. So I'm going to say under the art of hand crafting, create an, a two by two um, HTML infographic using SVG um, icons that make sense for the infographic. So what this is gonna do now is instead of um, an image, it's actually just gonna create an infographic. So we'll see what this looks like in a second. So you can see here div class infographic and then, yeah, basically, it's just creating an entire infographic in HTML. This is going to change the landscape of content generation forever. This is something that nobody else has even talked about, nobody else is doing. I feel comfortable sharing this now because, I mean, it's actually pretty obvious how we've done it. If you watch, if you look at Harbor, but you can see this has created exactly what I said before. It's created a, a, an infographic, okay? This is something that was previously not possible uh, because nobody had thought of it, I guess. And yeah, I, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I am pretty happy that I discovered this. Now you can do all sorts of things. Um, if I just go on chat, G, well, I can just say, now uh, give me a list of 10 things that can also be placed into an article except infographics. And what this will do now is it will give me a few different options. Now, one of the ones is uh, that we use is um, tables, but you can see there are a few other ones here. Let's do an interactive timeline. So I'm going to say design me an interactive timeline of how a Kiton suit is made. And it'll do exactly the same thing. So we'll use eight, uh, HTML, CSS, and a bit of JavaScript. If you don't know, this will just copy and paste directly into Shopify, but you will need to remove um, these tags at the top, which are completely not needed for Shopify. The reason is Shopify obviously already has a lot of these. Um, it already has like doc type HTML inside it, et cetera, et cetera. So just be careful with what you're copying and pasting inside your CMSs when doing this, but you'll see that the end result here is a timeline, which again, you can just put directly onto, um, onto Shopify or WordPress. This is really cool as well. You can press show more, show less. Beautiful. Let's just read this. Kiton uses only the most luxurious materials, including rare wools like Vicuna and 13 micron wool. Each fabric is carefully inspected for quality and consistency. So again, you can see master tailors take up to 50 individual measurements. That's true. Uh, Basting and first fitting, canvassing, uh, Kiton uses a full canvas construction. That's not actually true, but that's okay. Hand stitching, final fitting, finishing touches. So you can see how you can very quickly and very easily start to add some really, really interesting 
visual elements to your articles. Again, this is something that was previously thought to be either impossible or extremely difficult. The last thing I'm going to say is now make me a comparison table, interactive comparison table of similar soup brands include Kiton at the top. Uh, make sure it's interactive in some way. Again, I feel totally comfortable sharing this now, guys, now that Harbor is out. People probably already worked out how to do this pretty quickly after we released it. I wouldn't be surprised if there are a few more content generators that do exactly this as well, but we will be innovating far beyond what I'm showing you in this video. We're gonna be doing a keyword tool. We're gonna to be doing a link building tool. We're gonna to be doing all sorts of crazy things, which I believe will make us the best tool on the market. So you can see here, we've got an interactive table. Again, this is something that Google will really, really like. It will rank on Google. We already have things like this ranking on Google. So I can press show price range and it will get rid of the price range, for example, or you know, show handmade hours, get rid of this, this, and this, and then we just have these. These kind of tables, they will rank extremely well on Google. The reason is, is if I just search for luxury suit brand comparison on Google, we're trying to grab this kind of spot, although this spot is obviously not easy to grab. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see, oh, there's actually ISU again. You can kind of see how we could easily grab a position on Google with a really, really nice table. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You can do all sorts of things. There's, we're, we're doing tables, quotes, um, graphs, uh, charts. So actually, let's just do a, a bar chart now. Do the table again as a bar chart, making it interactive in a different way. This is something that people have struggled to do for a very long time now, okay? Consistently. This is using React, so this wouldn't work, but let's just leave it for now because I think it'll look pretty cool. You don't want to be using React. Obviously, React is self-contained, so it wouldn't really work. But yeah, it's it's really, really cool. Um, yeah, really, really interesting. Year founded, they were all founded in the same year, apparently, but that's not true. Average price, Kiton is, does not have an av average price of 60 grand. Uh, handmade hours, yeah, this is about right, to be fair. Uh, average price is not right at all. Uh, the average price of a Kiton suit is probably closer to 5,000, but that's okay. Um, you can see how you can very, very easily make something cool. I'm just going to say, please only use HTML and style tags. So I don't want to use React because you can't just stick React onto your website. React is like a self-contained thing. So it, it wouldn't work on Shopify, for example. I don't, I don't believe anyway. I'm not actually 100% sure about that, but I'm 95% sure that it won't work on... Um, you can't just put React, for example. This has completely gone crazy. Uh, but yeah, you can just say, please make this look good instead of weird. And then you can take a picture, for example. And I'll say, sort the spacing and sort the alignment, etc. And then we'll send that. And then that should start to fix the misalignment in the previous version, like it's just said here. And yeah, this is pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. It's very, very easy to do. Harbor does it automatically, but again, I'm not just trying to push Harbor consistently. If you don't want to use Harbor, that's why I'm making this video so that you can do it yourselves without worrying about you know paying for a tool or whatever. Nothing on the channel is really going to change, guys. I'm still going to be showing you how to do things for free. I'm just going to be also showing you that you can do it on Harbor automatically, effectively. So. Whether you use Harbor or whether you use Claude or whether you use ChatGPT, it doesn't make a difference to me. I just want to show people how to do this because we already have evidence that this is ranking extremely well on Google. I cannot show you that particular client because we have an NDA with that particular client, but the content that we've made using this method is ranking extremely well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. legend. Try out Harbor. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.